The gig economy is famous for, among other downsides, lack of benefits, volatile opportunities, and ultimately unstable income. Add COVID-19 and freelancers across Africa fearing financial ruin. So what reality is the gig economy facing? The BBC's Masharia Minor reports. This place would be buzzing right now, alive with waiters, with cleaners, a live band would be setting up, but the reality is no work and no pay. That is the impact of the coronavirus shutdown all across the continent. For Auka Gecheo, a production house owner, it is no lights, no cameras, and literally no action in his studios. A lot of those of us in the freelance space, it's per gig. We've had also some one-off um, events uh, that we had already been engaged, signed a contract, down payments given, and some of the clients have even demanded for the down payment back. So we have, what, 30 people seated at home at the moment doing nothing. So it's, it's, it's really a big impact. The International Labour Organization says over 80% of Africa's workers are in the informal sector. Those of us in the freelance space, those of us in the event space, those of us in the day-to-day -day space of income generation will be affected first, but ultimately it will get to everyone else. Governments across Africa established social distancing and banned public gatherings, which are a main source of income for many in the gig economy. But for Mutindi Mwasa, a guitarist, these shutdowns offer a new opportunity. Now we're wondering how, what other options. Now it's forcing us to think beyond physical meetings and investing more in online content. We can be able to raise about um, $100 per, per gig if you choose to do it once a week. And I feel like that will really go a long way to, to hold us, you know.